Hi, this is Jan from the University of Westphalia in Gelsenkirchen. Today we are going to have a look at on how to create ROS messages and ROS SRVs. Messages are nothing different from normal text files which contain variables. SRVs contain variables but have a request and a response. So something comes in and a result will come out. Good. We are going to have a look at on how to create these two and how to use them. And because we will need to copy something, we will have a look at how to use ROS copy or ROS CP. So, please start your terminal window. And I presume you already have a package, you already created a package before you started this tutorial. So, type in ROS CD to change directory to your package. And at first, we will have a look at messages and we will create a directory called message using make directory. Good. There are two possible ways to create a message now. First one is you could open gedit and type in um, your variable or the other way is to do this with echo. So type in int 64 for the date type. Please notice that we have many different date types you could. You can you can you can't only use int, you can use float or string or or you can even use an array. Good. Int 64 for the data type and followed by a name. I will call it num. Then put it into message, the folder we just created, num.msg. Good. Let's have a look if everything went alright. We can change directory to message, ls, and we can gedit this now, and here it is. Exactly the thing we just wrote in there using this. Good. Next thing what we have to do is we have to go back and we have to edit C our cmakelist.txt. Here you can see uncomment if you have defined messages. So just uncomment it and save your cmakelist.txt. To use ROS message now, it's really easy. Type in ROS message show followed by your package name. This is test and then you have to do slash num. You can use tab for autocomplete. And here it says our package test uses this message with the data tube in int64. Good. The next thing is how to create an SRV. Again here type in make directory SRV because we want to make a directory SRV. And but please notice you have to be in your root directory of your package. We won't create our own SRV, we will copy one from a um, package that ROS has already installed if you have ROS diamond bug installed on your computer. So type ROS CP for ROS copy. ROS P tutorials. This is the package name. You can use tab for autocomplete and add to ins.srv. So again, ROS CP needs the package you want to create a file from followed by the data you want to copy and then followed obviously it still has to know where it wants to go it wants to go to SRV to the directory we created and we will give it a name add to ints.srv everything seemed to go alright. So again, ROSCP needs the package 
you want to copy from, the data you want to copy, and then followed by the place you want to copy to. Good. And again here, we have to edit the CMake list. Here it says on comment if you have defined services. Yes, we have defined services. So on comment and save this file. Now we can have a quick look if everything went all right. We can change directory to our SRV. And here we can see add to ins has been copied to this directory. Now to use SRV, we can first go back but it's not necessary. Type in ROS SRV show package name test slash add to ints and this is the data which is cont in contained in in our service file. So this is the part go which goes in two variables A and B and out comes the sum. Good. Afterwards, really important, you have to use ROSMAKE to build your package. Zero failures, looks good, everything's alright. So one useful thing is, what, which I want to show you too, is you can get help to some certain commands. Just type in the command followed by minus h. And here you can see cross message has a command show which we just used. And it has many more which you can have a look at. Good. Let's have a quick review. What we need here until now is we need ROSPAC to get information about our packages. We need ROSCD to browse our packages. We need ROSLS to look at what is in our packages. ROSCP, which we just used to um, copy data from one package to another package. Then we just use ROSMESSAGE to get information about messages that a package is using and ROS SRV provides information about which SRVs which services the ROS package is using. And at last we need ROS make which compiles your ROS package. So thank you very much and goodbye.